Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Cyclones, released in 1994 for the PC. Developed by Raven Software and published by SSI, Cyclones is a first-person shooter notable for pioneering the use of mouse control aiming. Originally released in a floppy disk format with a MIDI soundtrack, this is the enhanced CD version, with a red book audio and FMV cutscenes, the first of which we have already seen. This game uses an in-house engine developed by Raven Software nicknamed the Steam Engine, and has notable improvements over the uh, Raycaster systems that they believed were outdated. For instance, this engine has moving platforms, catwalks, sloped floors, and transparent textures. Unfortunately, it is limited to 90 degree geometry, which we'll be seeing a lot of in this game. I have the jewel case for the CD version of this game that I've owned for quite a while in my hand right now. I bought it for quite a low price back in the day, got to level 2, and promptly got stuck and never played the game again. There is a silvery sticker on the jewel case that boasts CD-ROM in the shape of a CD-ROM, just in case you didn't know this was the CD-ROM version. And on the cover itself, there is a manual free zone icon with full online documentation. Which means, of course, that I couldn't access the online documentation, and I had to look up the manual elsewhere. This is a game that I played a little bit of, quite enjoyed what I played, but as I said, I got stuck, and then I stopped playing. Hopefully, I will not get stuck this time. We're going to check a few things before I start. First, we're going to have a look at the difficulty. We have easy, medium, and hard. Also, I hope you like this track. This track is the only music track for the entire of level 1. We are going to stick to medium. We'd have to restart the game if we switched we're going to keep it as it is. Also, you can rebind almost every key in the game. And I have left shift for fire, because unfortunately, the way I'm getting this game to work, DOSBox has a problem with the firing. If you keep firing with the uh, mouse button, eventually the fire mechanic gets stuck in a way, and you'll just keep firing even if you're not clicking. You then have to click again to uh, stop that, but that wastes ammunition. And so, we're going to move to the tutorial. Note, your game will not be saved. Please save before running tutorial, or your game will be lost. Oh no! Not the game that I don't have! Are you sure? I'm sure. Welcome to the Cyclones tutorial. This will show some of the basic game functions. It looks quite neat. Right click on doors to open them. That's pretty handy. Also notice that uh, the gun will change the sprite dependent upon where you're aiming. Some doors require keys for access. We'll be finding lots of keys. In many ways, this has lots of uh, FPS uh, mechanics and systems from games of the time. Right-click on items to acquire them, like the bio kit. Right-click on the inventory icon to ready an item for use. Yes, you stockpile your healing items. Position your cursor over the item and right-click to use it. You won't be leaving those things on the floor. You'll be holding on to them for when you want to use them, and you right-click uh, off the inventory to close it. This is a gorse pistol that we have right now. That is a better weapon. The Photon Chain Gun. You right-click your ammunition counter to access the uh, inventory of weapons, and then you right-click over the weapon you want to change to the Photon Chain Gun. Does it fire photons? Who knows? It's quite fast firing, though. And there is ammunition. Acquiring a clip will replenish your weapon's ammunition. If you have more ammunition than the clip will provide, as in the maximum is reached before it's used up, it'll stay there. Left click to shoot, and now you're just wasting ammunition, have a unit. That's better. There is a switch, right click to use that, and it will reveal the key card. We'll be collecting quite a few key cards. Notice that there is an icon now on our HUD. This is the key inventory icon. And also, notice next to it, there's a compass! Quite neat. There is a map that you can access as well. Let us open that door and end the tutorial, shall we? Blank room, enjoy the game. Don't worry, we will. The plot for this game is relatively simple. We are Havoc Unit, a cyborg developed by the Lunatic Fringe in response to an alien invasion that they knew was coming. Nobody else believed them, and then the aliens appeared. They're being led, well, the attack is being led anyway, by Cyclones, genetically engineered human clones that are able to defeat any force that the Earth can put against them. 
There are obviously aliens behind the scenes working at uh, orchestrating the invasion, but we haven't yet met that uh, mysterious commander. And so it is up to Havoc Unit, and Havoc Unit alone, to try and stop the alien invasion. If Havoc Unit can't do it, no one can, and humanity is doomed. Why are they doing this? We don't know. They haven't really told us. That is the invasion. Havoc Unit is doing this to save the world, of course. And hopefully we can succeed. And so without further ado, let us go in to a new game. Start new game? Yes. We are here, at the beginning of the first level. We've seen the map for the first level because it was in the introductory cutscene. We know that there is a facility over here, and a small building to the left. And there is some of that uh, changing of the sprite based on where we're aiming. Quite a nifty system. Here is the map, and here is the main menu. And this of course is the inventory for all of our items. Let us start by going over to the left. Not by strafing, but by turning. And we'll find our first enemy, the Berserker, a Cyclone. This enemy just moves towards you and tries to punch you. And they are very erratic with their movements, which makes uh, shooting them a little bit difficult. You want to keep your distance because they do hurt. This one dropped an item. That is a uh, bio kit, and we were out of range to pick it up. There are enemies in there, we'll be dealing with them in a moment, after we take care of this Berserker. I'm surprised that the forces of Earth couldn't take care of the Berserkers, at least, because they don't have any guns. We got some more Gorse pistol ammunition. In there are three Grunts, the first enemies we'll encounter that have ranged weapons. And they're in the dark, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to get closer. They'll inevitably move closer, and then I'll have at thee! There is definitely one to the left here. What I want to do is uh, get a little closer here. These enemies don't hurt that much. Are you over here? No, you're over there. There we go. These have uh, projectiles that you can dodge. Some of the enemies don't have projectiles you can dodge, and none of them dropped anything. But there's lots of things in here that we can use, like this mech kit, this bio kit, this bio kit over here, and some more mech kits and bio kits. It's like, hey, didn't come here first? Then you don't have all of these awesome things. We can jump. We're not going to jump right now, but jumping does have its uses. There is platforming to be done. Anything over here? There's ammunition! I may have thought there wasn't at one point, but there is. There we go. We have 136 shots, and I'm going to use a healing item. Marvelous, because there are two enemies at this uh, entranceway. There's one on a platform here, and one on a platform there. This is a game that I got to level 2 on, and then I got stuck all those years ago, so I never completed it. Hopefully we'll be able to complete it now. Also, I found that using a uh, keyboard command to shoot is a lot more accurate, because sometimes you will just miss. They're gone. Let's go in. It's my lucky number of ammunition that I'm about to ruin, because if you don't look to the left, you won't find this extra ammo. And here comes the first mechanical foe. This is a gun ball. It is a ball that has guns in it. It is very imaginatively named. Two doors, can we access them? No, this is Armory Sector B and Armory Sector A. We need the Armory Pass Key. And in here is the Weapon Research and Development Test Area. We must proceed with caution. We could go down, we're not going to. We're just going to go straight ahead and take out this grunt. Have at thee! You call yourself an invading alien force? I could take you out with a pistol. You can't be that dangerous. Ooh, there's a gumball there that was being very sneaky, but not sneaky enough. There are more gumballs around. Now, we know that the exit is over here. There's also an area down here. Let's go into here first, shall we? And right away, there is a berserker. We didn't drop anything. Let's quickly heal up. Best to stay at full armor and health whenever you can. There we go. Any enemies over here? No. Notice, by the way, the SSI crates here. It looks like an L, but it's blatantly an I. Hello! You're not meant to be here right now. You're right at the end of the uh, corridor, and there was no animation for you falling to the ground there. Curious. You think there's nothing here? Wrong! There's ammunition if you can grab it. We have 198 bullets right now. Let's take care of you as well. There we go. You're gone. 
there's another one of you somewhere- Ah! We appear to be getting punched. That is not good. The enemies do not have any noise for when they move around, so you do need to be careful. And at thee! I have a pistol! We're going to be using the pistol for quite a bit. Nothing over here, that's fine. Anything over here? The answer is no. Quite often there aren't things around, but sometimes there are things hidden for those that are observant. Any more enemies? There are obviously going to be enemies somewhere. Like there, hello! You're gonna have a bit of difficulty getting over here though, they're not that great at pathfinding through these uh, small passageways. Is there another one? There may be, hello! Let's take you on! There we go! Goodbye, Berserker! Hello, jumping puzzle over here. Let us jump here, and jump over here, and then here. We've nearly finished, and what's our reward? A key! The maintenance key! Also, as far as I know, no falling damage. Over here is going to be something dangerous, though. Here is a gun turret! Don't worry, it's not that accurate, and we can take it out using a pistol. It's a really rubbish gun turret. Here are some exploding things. They don't really do anything either. So we have a maintenance key, not an armory key, so we can't go to the armory. But we can go down here to the maintenance area. Maintenance key required for access. Don't worry, I have it. Hello, Grunt. I've no idea what you're doing here, but you do have a melee attack that I need to watch out for. In here is just a bunch of drains and corridors that fortunately are uh, sized so that we can go through them. Isn't that handy? Anything over here? Hello! How are you? You are dead. And there's you. There should be somebody else around somewhere like you! Hello! You are gone, and we need to be careful at taking care of you. Also, notice how the uh, shots from the grunts cause some interesting flickering down the corridor. That is because of the light effects. It's quite a nifty system, but it does sometimes look a bit bad. We'll uh, heal up a bit here, and try and find what we need to find. Which is in here? Press this, in here we go. Here is the armory pass key. I've no idea why it's here, as opposed to being, say, in an easier to access area. Maybe the cyclones didn't want me to uh, get it. Either way, we'll go through here. Notice, by the way, that uh, the icon that we use to shoot turns a pink colour when it's over something we can open. Something to note for the future. Let's go back the way we came and pass one of those uh, catwalks here. Innovative! And here's one gunball trying to stop us! You could not stop me, gunball! You are too much ball and not enough gun! Let's go into here first, shall we? There should be things here, like a mech kit over here, and a gorse pistol ammunition. We have 188 shots, that's quite a lot! Any- Aha! A gunball! I've no idea if the gumballs were brought here by the uh, aliens, or if there's something that uh, humanity builds that has been turned against them. Either way, they're not that dangerous. Any more? There's one over here! There are two! A true fight! That is very easy to take care of. And we get more things for our troubles. Might as well accumulate as many of these as we possibly can. Let's go into the other one, shall we? Ooh, hello! You were trying to be sneaky, but not sneaky enough, I'm afraid. Nothing over here. Any weapons that we can get here? There's another gunball! We can deal with the gunballs, though. You tried to hide from me! You cannot. Here is some photon chain gun ammunition. But no photon chain gun. I imagine we'll be finding that very soon. And by imagine, I mean that we'll definitely be finding it pretty soon. Need to deal with you first, though. And no other enemies here? We'll grab some more ammunition. Now notice that our uh, supplies are now at maximum, so only some of the ammunition was transferred. It's still there for us to pick up. Secondary armory. Tachyon signs show most weaponry is missing. Oh darn! We won't be getting any kind of rocket launcher today, but we will be getting a photon chain gun. Because hey, why not grab one of those right now? and heal ourselves up. Use that, use that, brilliant, and now we'll use this. Elevator access granted, brilliant. Let us equip this gun. 
Muton Chain Gun equipped as primary weapon. It may not look impressive right now, but it's a pretty impressive weapon, and we're certainly going to be using it for quite a bit. Let's go this way, and avoid any enemies that may be down there. There may be one more Gumball, I'm not bothered about taking care of it. So, over here we go, in this direction, towards the end of the level. We're already at the end of level 1. Access denied! Well, too bad! I have a key! Locking mechanism must be online! That is the game going, hey, if you walk over here without the key, you need the key! But we have the key. So, let's just have a look here. The uh, surroundings are already changing. Looks more like a kind of office. Let's go into the elevator. Major Ducharme, commence phase two briefing. It's very important that you mark the location of all alien craft weapons and cyclones that are destroyed or disabled. This allows the AIS recovery team to go in and study any new opposition encounters. Once entrance into AI lab number five has been achieved, Havoc unit will switch to combat tactic Echo Delta, search and rescue. Neutralization of enemy units will continue as conditions dictate. Intel reports the security elevator located on this level has been sabotaged. Havoc unit must seek an alternative route to the lab's other sectors. Also located somewhere on this level is Objective 1 Bravo, the hostage. Objective 1 Bravo must be rescued alive. I repeat, alive. Reason? The hostage is the only known living holder of the BioLink key, which is used to access Hangar 18, which holds an alien ship. A BioLink key will only work with the full cooperation of the key holder. So any stress being felt by the holder of such a key is felt by the key and will prevent the key from functioning. This small security measure is why the cyclones have not recaptured the ship. Once rescue has been achieved, Havoc can then enter its primary objective, One Alpha, alien ship. Now we have a slightly altered version of a level one music as our music. So our objective is to rescue a scientist, and I hope you paid attention to that map because I did not pay attention to that map when I was younger, and thus I got very stuck, because it reveals secret ways that you can go. Let's actually have a look at the map. This is how the map works. And what's quite interesting is you can click in locations, and you can see what you would be able to see in that area, including an area that we really shouldn't be able to look in right now. The map is a little bit fiddly. So our objective is to uh, rescue that scientist so that we can get the bio key and go to the alien ship. I imagine we need to get to that alien ship to complete the game, or at the very least, find out where the aliens are coming from. This is the way we came from, and over here is that uh, damaged elevator. We need to find a secondary access. And I hope you're thirsty, because we have generic branded cola here! We cannot use that. But we're going to have a look around and try and find where that scientist is. From AI Corps, as per mission brief, do not harm the scientist. Okay, we got the message. We're not going to harm the scientist. We will, however, shoot everyone else that we find, like you! Photon Chain Gun! Ha <laughs> ha! It's a really good weapon. I do like the Photon Chain Gun. Anyone else here? No? Lots and lots of chairs and tables, though. Perfect for a business meeting. A business meeting of doom! Any foes over here? We could be strafing right now. I'm not, because, uh, ah, hello! There is a grunt. Why don't we do a bit of strafing? Are you going to come closer? You are! And I'm going to wait for you to get closer. There are two of you. You know what that means. Chain gun! Ha <laughs> ha! Marvelous. They are gone. No threats for us today. Nothing here? We will find a uh, new enemy pretty soon. In here, maybe? Nope, you're just a grunt. And soon, you will be gone. You notice there that it took quite a lot of bullets to take out that opponent. That is because sometimes the uh, guns miss. I don't know if you have to be very particular as to where you're aiming, but suffice to say, we missed there. But we have 348 more shots. I'm sure we'll be fine. Chain gun! Ha <laughs> ha! And things we can grab. If that is... Oh, hello! You are the new enemy. You are an alien specimen known as the Pit Bull. And what do you do? You run up to us and try to bite us. It's quite similar to the Berserker, except the Berserker's trying to punch us and not bite us. We'll grab this mech kit here. As you can see, we are rather low on health and armor, and I think we very briefly uh, clipped through the wall there in terms of what we could see. 
So let us uh, use this and this. And when we come back, folks, we'll continue to search around here in the labs for the scientist that we need to rescue. After all, if he's stressed or worried or dead, he won't be able to uh, give us that um, key card so that we can get to the hangar. I mean, we could take the key card. It's not going to work. And so I'll catch you next time, folks, for when we come back rescuing a scientist with a photon chain gun. It's like a normal chain gun. But from the future! And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.